In a morning talk program on national television called Tony Post Show, Connie Phillips proudly announces on a live broadcast that she's having an affair with her best friend's husband, Bill. Connie had been having romantic moments with Bill for a year already. The audience was all shocked at where this woman got the courage to speak out on this personal issue. After the such revelation, Tony the show host, Let's Birdie, Connie's best friend come on stage. Birdie was blindfolded and stayed backstage earlier. Birdie sits on the couch and recognizes Connie's voice. Birdie smiled, knowing that she was with her best friend. Not until Connie said that Bill was not in love with her anymore and they were having an affair. Birdie was in tears but remained composed, knowing she was on a talk show. The audience screamed loud as Bill entered the stage. He also confirmed that he was having an affair with Connie, and even had romantic moments in Birdie's living room. At home, Birdie starts to pack her things and move out of her house with her daughter Bernice. The little girl took the last glance at their home with sad eyes. Birdie continues to drive. Birdie and her daughter moved to Birdie's hometown called Smithville to start a new chapter of their life. There, Mrs. Ramona, Bernice's grandma, welcomed them home. The next day, Bertie was awakened by loud dog barks. Bernice also had a new playmate, little Travis, her cousin. While they were eating breakfast, Bill called Bernice. The little girl was so happy that she dashed to her mom to say that her dad missed her. On the first day of school, Bertie accompanied Bernice. There, they saw a cheerleading team practicing on the grounds. The cheerleader caught Bertie's attention. She reminisced the time of being like her back then. Meanwhile, the shy Bernice arrived at her room and was welcomed by the teacher. After sending Bernice to school, Bertie told his mom how Bill fooled her. Grandma eagerly listened while ex-beauty queen Bertie pitied herself. The old woman consoled Bertie and told her to move on. The next day, Day, Justin, a handsome tall guy, dropped by at their home. He also has carpentry skills, and Grandma calls him to fix something at the house. Bernice, on the other hand, looked with disgust at Justin. She doesn't want Justin to end up with her mom. Bernice even told him that her father didn't forget to call them at night. Days passed, and Bertie became annoyed with her mom trying to wake her up early. Bertie's mom does that because she noticed her daughter has been wandering the house all day and night, wearing a bathrobe. Bertie slept again until the loud noise of the machine was heard. It was Justin again making a cabinet. Hours later, Bertie angrily went downstairs to scold Bernice. Bertie found out that her daughter had been telling Bill that she had been feeling lonely since they left Texas. Grandma interrupted angry Bertie and shouted at her. She told Bertie that Bernice was right, and used to be pleasing Bertie was already gone. Fear stopped her from enjoying life. Bertie became teary with all the words her mom said. The next day, Bertie dressed up and drove to the town. There, Debbie Reason got wild in welcoming her. Bertie was popular in the town for her beauty and grace and everything she did. Polka Dot told Bertie that she still looks the same as she used to back then. Dot also knew about the talk show scandal where Bertie and Bill got involved. Regardless, Dot tries to find a job for her. Dot instructed Bertie to shoot some photos on the weekend, since taking photographs was the only thing she knew. Bertie agrees because she's very much desperate to do new things. Later that night, Bertie dines in a restaurant where she meets Justin again. The next day, Bertie finally returned to doing her passion, photography. She roams around the house and captures beautiful moments with her camera. Her mother was also supportive of seeing Bertie enjoying life again. After a week of taking photographs, Bertie went back to Dot and presented the photos. Dot loved it. She recommended her to work in the nearby studio in the town, Snappy Snaps. There, Bertie was accepted by an old man, Mr. Davis, who owns the studio. He also oriented Bertie to her duties there. The next day, Bertie was finally able to visit her dad, who got a stroke and Alzheimer's. She introduced him to Bernice, who was very curious about why her grandpa acts that way. Bertie's dad seems to not recognize her. Regardless, she still shared about her separation from Bill. Bertie got teary eyes, so she immediately went near the window, so her father won't notice she was sad. Little did she know, her father followed her and opened his arms for a hug. The two danced while a piece of soft music was played. Bernice witnessed the beautiful father and daughter moment between her mom and grandpa for the first time. While at work, Bobby Claire Patterson, Bertie's high school friend, visits the shop. She also knew the talk show that humiliated Bertie and told her that the whole town also saw it on television. Bobby was one of those girls who envied the beautiful Bertie back then. She was low-key happy that Bertie ended up having a miserable life. After that, Bobby handed Bertie the pictures to be used for a wedding. While printing Bobby's request, Bertie made a mistake and couldn't control the machine. She called Mr. Davis, the owner of the shop, for help. Bobby came and was so angry with Bertie and the shop owner. A little while, Justin visits the shop. He also accompanied Bertie in going home while talking about their old memories in the town. Justin reminisces his first kiss with Bertie and confesses that he was so in love with her. However, Bill was very popular at that time, unlike him. Bertie giggles as she teases Justin for not courting her. Justin replied, asking Bertie if she would say yes if he asked her out today. Silence can only be heard. Bertie declines since she's still married to Bill. However, Justin insisted. The next day, Justin and Bertie went out fishing. The two had a deep conversation in the river. Bertie also brought her camera to take pictures 
and Justin showed admiration for Birdie's photos. Everything was going well for Birdie in Smithville, while her daughter is still making adjustments to blend in. At school, Bernice was playing volleyball and accidentally hit Big Dolores, the girl who bullied her at school. Bernice was so afraid, and her young mind thought that Dolores would put her to eternal sleep. Birdie reassures her daughter that it won't happen. Later that night, Justin and Birdie went out and hopped in a convertible car. As usual, the two talked about high school. Justin loved the moment, and he slowly initiated to kiss Birdie. Birdie, on the other hand, warned him that she never kissed a guy after separating from Bill. Birdie walks out of the car, and Justin follows her. The two played in the swing instead. At school, all the kids gather to wait for Bernice to go out. They're also, angry Dolores was awaiting her. Bernice walks together with Dolores, and the big girl starts to hit her back randomly. Because of that, Bernice grabs her lunchbox bag and hits it hard on Dolores. The kids were shocked, since no one from them ever fought back against big Dolores. Bernice ran, but Dolores was able to follow her. The big girl beat her up on the ground in front of the other kids at school. After Dolores left, Bernice's friend and Travis held her hand and helped her stand up. Bernice was so sad upon going home. She won't tell Bertie what happened. The next day, Bertie, Grandma, Travis, and Bernice's friend danced in the room to cheer her up. Bernice giggled after their performance. Later that night, Bertie and her mom, Ramona, went out to a party. There, Bertie met some of her high school friends, including Justin. Justin invited Bertie to dance. Bertie declined again, but Justin successfully brings her to the dance floor. The two gracefully showcased their dance steps like they used to in high school. A romantic song was played. Justin held Bertie's hand. The two caressed while dancing. After the party, Justin brought Bertie to his house. Curious, Bertie roamed around and was amazed by everything she sees. A little while, Justin invited her to the porch. Bertie laid down on the couch while having a conversation with Justin. Bertie went near to Justin. The two made love that night. The next day, Bertie woke up early and headed back home. Bernice saw her and angrily stared at her. At the shop, photo papers crumpled up in the machine made her temper high. Bertie went home, not in the mood to talk to anyone. She couldn't find Bernice, so she asked her mom. Ramona was setting the table for Justin, the man she wants her daughter to date. Recalling what happened to her and Justin last night, Bertie pleads with her mom to stop giving special treatment to him. Someone knocked on the door. Bernice opened it and Justin greeted her. Bernice talked rudely to Justin as usual. Mrs. Ramona invited Justin for dinner but left the two at the dining table. Meanwhile, Bernice was sneaking around to hear their conversation. Bertie immediately said her sorry for last night. She sounds like everything that happened to her and Justin was all a mistake. Justin felt dismayed and reminded Bertie that they are not in high school anymore and he is not Bill. He also told her that Bill failed to see everything that he admires about Bertie. Justin also told Bertie to wake up and realize that Bill will not come back anymore. Bernice interrupts and told that her father, Bill, loves her and her mom. The little girl also threatened Justin that her father will put him to eternal sleep. Grandma went in to get Bernice. Justin, on the other hand, asked permission to go home. Ramona was upset with her daughter for not giving Justin a chance. Meanwhile, Bernice angrily threw stones at Justin while leaving. Bernice also shouts to her mom. She told her that she doesn't love her and Bill anymore. Bertie headed to the town's bar to cool down. There, Bobby Claire and all of the people stared at Bertie entering the bar. Like how she used to be a head turner back then. However, this time, Bertie's neighbors were gossiping, instead of admiring her. Mike, the old bartender, gave Bertie a drink. Hours passed, and Bertie was already drunk. Bobby and the envious people around laughed at her. Mike approached the beautiful lady and gave her a coffee to sober. Noticing that Bobby was making fun of her, Bertie insulted Bobby by telling everyone that she had her b**** enhanced. Bobby Claire immediately went out of the bar, feeling humiliated. At home, Bertie vomited so much and cried. Ramona comforted her. Bertie sobbed as she misses Bill so much. She admits to her mom that everything feels wrong without him. When Bertie looks into his eyes, all she could see is her. Not until things changed. She couldn't anymore see herself mirrored in Bill's eyes. Bertie was also afraid that Bernice will not see her anymore as a mom. Bernice started to hate her after they moved in at Smithville. Tired of crying, Bertie falls asleep. The next day, a talent audition at Bernice's school begins. Bertie, on the other hand, looks desperate to send her lunch. Bertie was still on her robe. Bernice just stared at her and went away. It finally happened. Bernice doesn't want her mom anymore. Bertie went home alone. She became numb with the cold rain pouring down. Her heart feels cold more than the weather. Knowing that her family members all turned away from her was breaking her heart. Feeling alone, Bertie visited the most important man in her life, her father. Her dad eagerly listens despite his condition. Bertie finally arrives home and was happy seeing that her mom talked to her daughter. Ramona explains to the little girl a story that is similar to how she and her mom are currently feeling. She also lectured the girl on the importance of family when a member feels hopeless. Bertie also hears that Ramona was so proud of her courage. Ramona went out of the room and was shocked that Bertie was there. Bertie thanked her mom so much and told her that she's not just a daddy's girl but a mommy's girl too. 
Ramona was teary-eyed hearing sweet words from her daughter. While Ramona was sipping coffee, her eyes became blurry. Her hands feels numb that she couldn't anymore hold the cup and it fell to the ground. Good thing that Bernice immediately noticed the loud noise. Bertie rushed to her mom and rattled. Mrs. Ramona died that night. At the burial mass, Bernice noticed that her daddy was there at the ceremony. She dashed to her dad after. Justin was also there and sent his condolences to Bertie. Just like Bernice, Travis was also in grief after his grandma's death. Justin consoled the lonely Travis. Ramona took care of Travis since then. Travis was so concerned if his aunt Bertie is willing to adopt him. Justin assures Travis that Bertie will take care of him. Meanwhile, Bertie was busy at the dining table. Bill interrupts her and said sorry. Bertie got mad after Bill told her that his affair with Connie was just an accident. Natural as he describes it. Bill also added that Bertie was the one who left first and not him. Bertie then responded that Bill should have just left her immediately after falling out of love. Instead of having romantic moments with her best friend. The two continued quarreling and requested Bernice to go away. A little while, Bill said that he wants a divorce. Bernice heard it and she immediately packed her things. She wants to go with her dad. Bill stopped Bernice and told the little girl to stay with her mom. Bernice still insists because Bill always tells her that he wanted to take her badly. Bill went inside the car teary-eyed. Bernice couldn't do something but to scream daddy. At night, Bertie comforted Bernice that she means so much to her. That Bernice's presence makes her special. Bertie also assures to her daughter that they will make it through the sadness they are feeling because they are a team. Bertie even jokes at Bernice that they are the coolest chicks in Smithville. Bernice hugged her mom tight. The next day, Bernice smiled as she saw her mom at the swamp feeding the ducklings. Bertie continues to work in the shop. She also gave Justin a chance to love her. Mr. Davis, the owner of the shop, feels happy seeing Justin with his high school crush. Bernice also accepts Justin and even asked her mom if she wants to marry him. While the fireworks give beautiful colors to the sky, Bertie recalls what her mom said. Beginnings are scary, endings are usually sad, but it's the middle that counts the most. Bertie doesn't know what the future holds, so she, together with Justin, Bernice and little Travis seized every moment they spent together. Amidst the failed marriage and her mother's death, hope floats, as Bertie meets additional family members that will make a great team to fight the battles in life.